Welcome sa ating channel mga kaibigan and yes today. Today is the launch date of RTX 3090 video card and we tried our best na kahit papaano within the 24 hours allowance we managed to bring out something for you na PC build at the same time RTX 3090 benchmark review. So ipapakita ko po dito mga kaibigan ang ating uh, uh, Cooler Master uh, new chassis TD500 mesh at the same time a Z490 Tai Chi motherboard and that RTX 3090 video card ang ilalabas natin side by side comparison yung mga ginawa nating benchmark so we have the uh, testing methodology sa description ng ating video uh, this is just the initial review of this video card since uh, we tried our best na talagang uh, kahit pa paano makipagsabayan doon sa release date. Pero this will not be the last. Marami pa po tayong mga ilalabas na mga videos ng RTX 3090 PC build. Now, hindi na natin papatagalin mga kaibigan. Let's find out how will this new video card in the market considered as the most powerful RTX 3000 video card ng NVIDIA performs with RTX 2080 Ti, the top of the line mainstream video card ng previous generation. For more videos like this mga kaibigan, feel free to subscribe. This video is brought to you by SCDKey, the best website that you may visit in terms of uh, very affordable deals and best offer para sa application softwares, games, and yes, operating system. And there you are, you may check the Windows 10 Pro and by using our promo code, ma-avail mo lang siya ng around $14.95 or 700 plus pesos. And yes, there are a lot of payment options using your credit card, debit card. That's it mga kaibigan. Check the description below. May mga links po tayo dyan to go directly sa kanilang website. Okay, so let's start the video by putting together all of these components. Mabilisan lang. And then uh, quick benchmarks side by side with RTX 2080 Ti and uh, some uh, benchmarks in terms of rendering at the same time uh, quick uh, overview or uh, b-rolls ng mga iba't ibang games as we discuss about this RTX 3090 initial benchmark and testing.
Well, of course, nakita nyo na mga kaibigan yung side-by-side -side comparison natin ng RTX 3090 and 2080 Ti. So, hopefully, in terms of expectation, talaga bang ito yung ina-expect nyo maging performance nito over the 2080 Ti? Comment down below kung may masasabi kayo in terms of the advantage. Pero for me, ang masasabi ko lang, the advantage is really significant. Uh, there is just uh, so much hype pagdating sa RTX 3000 series na kumbaga parang uh, double the performance uh, This uh, huge amount of uh, percentage Pagdating sa advantage uh, That is not uh, really the uh, thing na nakita natin Pero uh, disregard natin yung mga yun Kasi sometimes those are uh, Kumbaga nasosobrahan yung pagsasabi nila Since it's uh, for the marketing side And uh, there are more uh, judgment and uh, Conclusion that I may share in the next uh, few videos since this is just a 24 hours testing and uh, benchmark that we have done. Pero what I appreciate in here is of course the PC build. We managed to put together uh, components, the Intel Core i9, the 32GB uh, skills, at the same time this Z490 Tai Chi motherboard. At the last minute actually... Ito yung naisip ko na lang na motherboard Since yung gusto ko kasi ipakita sa inyo is uh, Something na ganito yung scheme, color scheme, orange So Tai Chi since meron siyang uh, gold uh, something doon sa kanyang uh, uh, chipset heatsink Pero overall what complements the build is uh, also the Cooler Master TD500 mesh uh, Marami kasi naghahanap ng chassis na to Kaya parang naisip ko na, okay, I think this is the best chassis that I will showcase with this RTX 3090. Pero for the initial final verdict of the performance of this uh, build with an RTX 3090, syempre it's the best video card in the market. Pero the question is, can it run crisis? <laughs> well, matagal naman ng tanong yan. Kahit anong mga nare-release na bagong video card, Sakit sa ulo talaga tong crisis na game. Sometimes, uh, it's already parang kumbaga kasama na yan sa mga biruan ng mga uh, PC enthusiasts. Malakas yung video card mo. Kaya niya ba talagang patakbuhin yung crisis? And uh, we found out na kahit paano, playable na rin. 
uh, playable na rin. Pero at a max settings, you can really run Crisis at a 4K resolution with this video card. Kumbaga, tolerable at some point, playable, ganun. Not that kind of thing na it's a superb performance. Well, we did all of the benchmarks in a 4K resolution. Max settings for you guys to have an idea. Since we are benchmarking the top of the line, the best video card NVIDIA can offer as of now. Kaya naman talagang minax out natin yung mga games. At the same time, we go to the point na uh, halos medyo gumagapang na rin yung video card. Pero, um, we just settled with the settings na ideal for the gamers. And of course, we also tried to do some RTX on and RTX of uh, benchmarks. And we found out na hindi rin ganun ka-significant yung pag-degrade ng performance compared sa RTX 2000 series. Though, uh, it's just one game, the Metro Exodus, yung benchmark natin. And we'll find out more in the next few videos. Kaya keep posted lang po kayo dito sa ating channel. Kasi ito lang po ang ating initial review and benchmark or testing of the RTX 3090. And of course, featuring this uh, PC build that you may consider if you are doing or trying to uh, build the top of the line uh, setup with the best video card NVIDIA can offer in the market. And syempre, subscribe na kayo mga kaibigan dahil marami pa po tayong iti-tear down na RTX 3090. We will not just be talking about the benchmark in terms of gaming, rendering, etc. But at the same time, builds, components, and yes, power consumption. 